Hello everyone, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. Guys, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to create confirmation dialog programmatically in JavaFX application. And this will be a model confirmation dialog. Right now, you can see on my screen, there is a screenshot of the dialog and all these components are customizable. So here you can set the header text as per your choice and you can set the content text as well. Also, you will learn to get the response from the user, user has pressed the OK button or cancel button. So how you will do it, I will explain you in this example. So guys, let's get started. I am taking you inside the NetBeans ID there. I have created a sample project with the help of this project. I will explain you the creation of confirmation dialog. So you can see on the left hand side under this projects tab, we have a one FXML based project so this is our fxml we have a one single button on this fxml you can see this is a single button and the action is a connected handle button action this method is handling the button click action and uh, uh, the click on click of this button we will display that confirmation dialog so guys let's get started first of all i will uh, uh, Tell you one important thing here we need uh, the stage object so uh, in the controller we can get the stage object but how so i'm explaining that thing first so what we have to do we have to define the fx id for the anchor pan for the base pan okay now come back in the controller and you can see i have uh, defined the add the net fxml private anchor pan and this is the fx id for the anchor pan okay with the help of this uh, uh, fx of ob id object we can uh, fetch the stage object inside the controller so this is the line where we are getting the object so what we have to do simple take the object of anchor pan use get scene method and then use the method get window okay and now we have to convert uh, type cast this uh, returning object into the stage and here we got this uh, the stage object in this stage reference variable now we proceeding further so we going to create the confirmation uh, dialog so what we have to do we have to use the class alert type okay because uh, uh, we are going to create the confirmation dialog so we need the type because we have to define there is a different kind of dialog confirmation dialog error dialog and uh, there is a uh, information dialog so we have to first need the type of the dialog so we have uh, created one object of the alert type and there's a simple thing we have to use the constant alert type dot confirmation so once you click here you will get the uh, different types of uh, dialog now in the second line we have to simply create the object of alert class so we are creating the object of alert class here and uh, in the constructor we have to pass uh, the type because uh, we're going to create the confirmation dialog there we need ok and cancel button so we have to pass the type inside this uh, constructor and uh, this is a blank string so we are passing nothing inside it we will set all the uh, stuff of content later and uh, this is the alert and uh, here's the line alert dot init modality if you want to set this as a model uh, dialog confirm model confirmation dialog that means uh, once the this confirmation will appear on the stage so nobody can interact the uh, back controls on the main stage after closing or after giving the response on this confirmation dialog user can interact the background stage controls to set the modality we have to use this method init modality and here with the help of the modality class we can use this constant application model so this alert will become a model confirmation dialog okay and to display on uh, the stage we are we are using 
alert dot init owner and we have to pass the stage object you can see in the line number 36 we obtained the stage object and we are using right here okay guys moving next uh, there's a header text and content text so we have to set this content the customizable content text okay so we simply use alert dot get dialog pan and set content text this is the method with the help of this method you can set the content text at this place now you can see here in the screen as well this is the content text this is the section under this line you can uh, set your content text okay so at line number 45 we are setting the content text now moving on the next line at line number 47 we will use the same thing alert dot get dialog pan and after that we are calling the set header text method okay and uh, here we are passing the string header text this is cool it help so uh, we have uh, set the customized text on header and content section so uh, in this diagram you can see this is the header text and this is the content text we have set all already here in the code okay now moving further now guys uh, let me show you one thing so we have done with the uh, confirmation dialog customization if we press the button click and that confirmation will appear now user have to give the choice ok or cancel now we have to get the response user has pressed ok or a cancel button so how you will handle this so i will show you here right now okay guys this is very simple uh, once you have created the alert object so when you going to display this so you have to call this method alert dot show wait so when you call this method show and wait this will return you the response this will return you the response because we have passed the alert type as a confirmation that means alert class know about the button which are present on the confirmation dialog that means we have two types of button ok and cancel which are present on this stage so once you call show and wait method okay so when you press that ok or cancel button that will be returned here so we are using the optional class which extends object class and uh, we have set the button type because we uh, want to track which button is pressed so this is the object so once user press ok or once user press cancel so that will be recorded here that means it will return a return type so with the help of uh, this if statement i am uh, getting the uh, response like result dot get is equal to button type dot ok that means user has pressed the ok button then we will execute this line of code otherwise we will check result dot get double equal to button type dot cancel if user is pressing the cancel button so this code will execute okay if condition will true and this code will execute so guys this is the very simple and uh, clear way to get the user response okay guys uh, let me uh, run this example and you will be able to understand the whole concept okay i'm taking the build of this project first okay build is successful now i'm going to run this so here's my file which is a start matter do the right click and select the run file to launch the project okay guys this is the main stage and uh, we have uh, done the coding on this button click event now i'm going to click on this and you can observe the confirmation dialog will appear here is the confirmation dialog now you guys can see 
now we will check the modality of this i'm trying to click on the background button and you can see the focus is every time going on this uh, model dialog and without interacting with this model dialog we cannot interact on the background controls okay guys also we have done the code to get the response uh, that either the user press the ok button or a cancel button now let me uh, click on this ok button and you can observe the output console here you can see ok button is pressed let me show you which code is executed so this if uh, is executed so we found that ok button is pressed and the code inside the if is executed okay now i'm going uh, uh, to show you the uh, second one i'm going to press this cancel button so once i will press this cancel and you can see cancel button is pressed okay now this second if is executed okay so guys this is the way you can uh, uh, obtain the user response and uh, you can uh, execute the conditional code on the user response so i hope you found this video useful so guys please like this video and share with your friends as well so they can also take the advantage of this tutorial and guys please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon if you want the latest video updates from my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help